Yeah, no, it's great. More. This is like some that is so R ridiculous. Um, Chris Burkhardt Studios is Matt. <laughs> It'd be funny to rap in this though. I'm Ted Hesser, and we are on a commercial video shoot with Chris Ricard here at Chris's studio in Grover Beach, California uh, for a Black Diamond commercial. We're just capturing moments of Chris in his studio. Uh, Chris and I met off weights climbing in Yosemite. Um, we probably climbed like four or five trips this summer and uh, yeah, become friends. Okay. One of the ideas for the film is that Chris is essentially the everyman. Uh, and that's what we kind of want to explore and dive into a little bit in Chris's life. Voila. So my van is the greatest van in the entire world. <laughs> no, I brought the van because honestly, there's a lot of moving parts, there's a lot of equipment. It just made everything simpler to have the van. There's some secret compartments for laptops and storage drives camera equipment. There's like a bunch of little specific things that you, you absolutely need. Um, water, yeah, and there's a shoe rack, which honestly is like one of the better features of this van. Most people don't think about it, but you have like tons of shoes usually. We are packing for a day and a half. It's a pretty condensed schedule, actually. Uh, Chris has all the stuff in his van that he needs to go off with climbing for a few days. He and his buddy Ian are both gonna sleep in his van. I just woke up and we're gonna drive to Yosemite. And it's gonna be really cold. Ooh, Yosemite Valley. Mmm. The bitch. <laughs> just trying to get there before the sunlight goes away. Hard. The hardest thing about this shoot in the Yosemite, so the sun like barely makes it into Yosemite Valley at all. Got everything packed up. Austin's passed out in the back. Hopefully. We get to Yosemite in time. We're like two adventure mobiles on a media mission, like caravanning into Yosemite, basically. Obviously, my van is better. How you doing, partner? I'm doing well. Welcome to your park. Do you hey. need a map? Um, I'm good today. Thank have you so much. Day. Hey, have a great day. All Cheers. Right. Yo, what do you think with the light? Because it's no longer overcast. Should we still go to twilight or should we? It's not an easy rig. Yeah. Okay, we'll go do that. I'll follow you because I oh, never okay, remember. Okay, Yosemite is sort of the historic birth of climbing in the United States and there's just so much to climb there. Technically demanding, very difficult. Uh, I've been going for 10 or 15 years now and every season I go back, there's new routes I've never even heard of. And it's just majestic. It's just like, it's a pretty special place. Twilight Zone is one of the hardest off-width climbs in Yosemite. It was established in the 60s, and at the time was the hardest rated climb in all of Yosemite and perhaps all of the world. People didn't free climb it for decades, and even today it's considered really hard. It's sort of like surfing. It's like if you don't hit the wave perfectly, it's kind of a heinous experience. You get thrashed. Climbing is a bit like that. If you make decisions that put you in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong mountain conditions or the wrong partner or the wrong gear, your experience could be extremely uncomfortable at best or deadly at worst. Yeah, so this is the best. <laughs> for Twilight Zone, we wanted to get Chris, at least for the photo, just in the last light. And that only really happens in December. Any other time of year, yeah, go ahead. Bro! the climb actually falls in the shade before last light. We are racing against the setting sun. Okay! But we're close. We're gonna try, try our best. Chris, I'm gonna get... Whenever you can, look up. Yeah. I'm, I'm toast. Uh, just go back to your other battery. Uh, and it's still not working? Yeah, no, it's, it's very strange. My camera it just froze. I'm not sure. It said error and it stopped working. It's stressful. It just stopped working all of a sudden. You just don't want a camera to fail. This climb is pretty central to the film and it is dark really quickly. There's, there's not a lot of time. 
You think you got the money shot before it broke? Uh, I hope so. I hope so. Still got work to do. Uh, I'm just nervous. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure if we got the shot. Pretty hectic back there. Um, I don't know. I haven't looked at my cards yet. I have to get them on my computer. Um, we, we'll see. And then I could, and then I could just, and then I'll just supplement. <laughs> this is completely unedited. Yeah, it looks this awesome. This is his camera unedited. Dude, it's so it's cool. scary as hell. Yeah, it's awesome. Much more dramatic. Like, so much more dramatic. What? <laughs> After checking out, you know, the video and the images, I was relieved. I think we all were a little relieved. We got really good stuff despite tenuous circumstances. The image we got is like all time. I think you could run a campaign around that image. To have the camera be fully functional and have it not be the camera's fault, but be my fault, that's that's a huge relief because then I know I can like trust the gear. How do you set this thing up for sleeping? Well, it's kind of a little bit of a process. Plop the pillows, pull this bad boy over here. It's about 20 something degrees. The bed is done. See you tomorrow. It's really cool being in Yosemite in December. It's beautiful. You have the valley all to yourself. Morning light looks epic today. The sun is really low in the horizon in December. So the, the light is really just soft and diffuse by the time it, it rises and it reaches the valley floor. Our next location is the generator crack. They call it the generator because it's right next to the electric generator. That's where Yosemite gets its electricity from. So this climb is almost always done top rope because there is not cams big enough to protect the top half. To get a pretty cool shot in the crack with Chris kind of like putting the cam in, you just have to tape the GoPro on. Yeah, this will work, this will work. Man. There's meaningful risk leading it when, when you can't place cams the whole way. Leading it means starting from the bottom and climbing to the top and placing cams for protection along the way. But, uh, but you're climbing above your pieces of protection. So if you fall, you'll fall twice the distance between you and whatever your last piece of protection is. How's it on the wall? Uh, uncomfortable. Off with climbing is when the crack is bigger than your hand or your fist and you have to stack your hands together or put your leg inside the crack or put your whole body inside the crack. And it's just a lot more difficult and strenuous to climb that way. Oh, I think I'll eat harder than I remember. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm off the way. The fixed line's one thing, but when you're 25 feet above your gear, you have a number six that's at maximum. It's a head game. <laughs> Dude, that was sick. Thank you so much. That was oh my gosh, that was insane. I was like pretty gripped. <laughs> After reviewing the footage, we're gonna go back to Twilight Zone. There's just a few more shots we need there. We shot the photo in the, in the perfect light, but for the video, because we have to take a lot of takes, we have to do a lot of different angles, that takes hours. So we purposely shot everything in the shade so that it's consistent. This project was the first project that I had fully organized and sort of orchestrated. Climbing is, I dare say, impossible to capture. You have to really understand what's going on. The scariest part of this whole thing, to me, honestly, was like taking that first step towards believing that I could direct and produce. I feel good about the shoot. I'm really stoked on how it all turned out. I think we got really good stuff. If there's one thing, I hate it driving home dirty. So I'm gonna jump in the Merced. I'm we'll try not to make it awkward. No, it's awkward. <laughs> There's four dudes and I'm like, I'm like a fully grown male with my wiener out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>